Time now for a look through the international headlines we're following this Monday morning. For that, we'll turn to our Eunice Kim standing by at the News Center. Good morning, Eunice. And good morning to you, Scott. We'll begin in Hong Kong this morning, where protest leaders have canceled a vote they had organized to gauge where demonstrators stood on the next steps of their pro democracy protests. The electronic vote organized by the three main groups represented was to take place Sunday night and Monday, but leaders of the Hong Kong Federation of Students, Scholarism, and Occupy Central with Peace and Love called off the ballot hours before it was to take place, saying too much disagreement over the wording and value of the vote had remained. In an email statement, they apologized and said there was not enough consultation with the public the move that was to encourage unity instead put to light the tensions that remained. Following an offer by Hong Kong's number two government official, Chief Secretary Carrie Lam, to submit a report on the public's concerns about Beijing's political reform framework, the protesters were to vote on whether they endorse this move and whether they believe changes should apply to city elections in 2016 of the Legislative Council and to the chief executive polls in 2017.